is there a difference in the way public sector and private sector are targeted? Is there a difference in the ways that they're being attacked? And if if there is, you know, could you discuss private sector first and then public sector second? Yeah. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to address public sector first, if you don't okay. mind, because uh, the way that they attack them is the same. Okay. Um, and this reminds me of a time I was flying into Australia to meet with the, the press and whatnot for a different organization. And the microphone came to me and said, Brooke, and I'm not going to imitate the accent. They said, Brooke, tell us what are some unique attacks that are going against Australia? And I said, well, to be honest, sir, uh, since malware doesn't affect koala bears and kangaroos, it's all the same thing. <laughs> you know, we, uh, you know, the attacks are all the same around the world. Yes, they may leverage a little bit different in different countries, but really that comes down to sample size. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you are the same as a German customer, as an Austrian or Australian or a Ukrainian customer. You're all the same to them. Um, you know, they may not attack you if you're Russian, if they are Russian themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they may, you know, because they don't want to, you know, um, I'm trying to find a very polite term for this, but don't um, don't use the bathroom where you sleep. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, you know don't make a mess where you sleep. Right. So gotcha. And um, uh, there's an old proverb that only a foul bird follows its nest or something like that. So mm -hmm. uh, or an, only an ill bird follows its nest. Um, but that being said, uh, so the same the public uh, public sector and private sector are attacked the same. But mm -hmm. I would say public sector, if anything, is attacked a little bit more because mm -hmm. one, they you know, the budgets sometimes are weaker than some private sector sometimes. Uh, so there's issues with with. Uh, budgets there's issues of scale they have to do more with less people more and less resources than private sector um then also when they are attacked uh they tend to well, that they have deeper public uh they pop they have deeper pockets because they're a public organization uh th that doesn't mean they can afford more they just have deeper pockets than the local supermarket so to mm -hmm. speak right and also when they do attack them and they do pay the ransom they have well first of all when they are attacked they have to publicly announce it and when they pay they have to publicly announce it and so it's easier for the person um if i had a newspaper on here and show it to you as a prop but it's easy for an attacker to say hey look at the press the article here you can see the city of el paso had to pay and guess what i did give them their data back mm, okay. so the average attacker would say that you know their payout rate you know hildecrypt said it was midish you know midish in terms of being paid out um, but others are seeing, you know, 30 to 40 percent payout rates, some as high as 50 percent payout rates. In order to escalate that payout rate, that win percentage, you could say, if you're thinking mm -hmm. from a sales perspective, you need proof that you will get the data back if you do pay them. Yeah. So public sector, because it's so much more visible, it just is more advantageous for a bad actor to go after public sector because of the visibility, because they can, you know, request additional funds, whether that's state level, maybe another, if it's a yep. city within a county or something along those lines. 